thousands of Armenians have been forced to flee the Syrian town of Kassab. It was, uh, this was after it was seized by jihadist forces. According to some reports, Al-Qaeda-linked Islamists have killed at least 80 civilians in the attack. Now, the town itself was looted, with many families forced to leave so quickly they had no chance to take anything. Some residents claimed the insurgents came from Turkey and blamed that country for the attack. However, Ankara denies all allegations. Families that managed to escape the assault have uh, been given shelter in the neighboring town of Latakia. Uh, we went out there and managed to speak to some of them. I have two children. My husband left. He said he would join us, but we've heard nothing from him. I don't know where he is. The bombardment started early morning. We struggled to save our son. We were laying on the ground because of the heavy bombing. The boy only just escaped. We could take nothing from our home. We had a huge library, Armenian literature. My wife is a teacher at the local school. We took nothing with us, no clothes, nothing. We just left with what we were wearing. And here on RT International, we had a chance to speak to Professor Firat Demir from Oklahoma University about the accusations of Turkish involvement. He believes even though the country has been providing logistical support to the rebels for a very long time, there's little evidence of it taking part in this particular case. It's no surprise that Turkey has been providing logistical support to the opposition since the uprising started almost four years ago and allowing um, Free Syrian Army uh, affiliates to pass through its borders almost freely. Now, having said that, I don't think Turkey has directly involved itself in the attack, latest attack against uh, the majority Armenian populated uh, town of Kassab. Um, the town itself is strategically is important because it is uh, one of the last remaining border posts allowing the uh, Free Syrian Army members to pass through from Antakya, Turkey to Syrian side and on the Mediterranean coast. So it's strategically very important. Um, and I am pretty sure that Turkey has provided all kinds of logistical support, including ammunition, uh, providing residents and allowing them to pass freely through its borders. But I don't think it was directly involved in the attacks against uh, either the Armenian community or the Syrian army.